Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. You know, one of my favorite features of my iPhone 12 is its wireless charging and its MagSafe magnetic back. I was looking for a mount for my card that could hold my phone and charge it at the same time. Luckily for me, my boys over at Car Phone Zone hooked it up with a sleek magnetic mount charger. Imagine the look on my friends' faces when I pull out my sexy iPhone 12 and slap that bad boy onto the magnetic mount. And if that's not enough sauce, when they hear that sound and realize that it's also a charger, uh, they look at me like I'm a god. In fact, I love the attention so much, I headed on over to Car Phone Zone myself and picked up a leather multifunctional car seat organizer. Now, whenever I pick up a girl for a date, she'll see how organized I am as soon as she hops in the whip. And she'll take a look at the magnetic mount with the fully juiced up iPhone 12. Uh, always ready to go. So go ahead and check out carphonezone.com for all your car and phone accessory needs. And Carphone Zone is hooking it up fat. Ricker and Bond listeners get a 15% discount when they use code PODCAST at checkout. That's PODCAST, all capital letters. 15% off store-wide. And you know they got that free shipping. Don't even play. CarphoneZone.com. Check them out now. Up, uh, my fellow humans, you fucking chimps. It's me, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ricker. It's Bond. Great show. We talk about Lil Nas in hell with the trans people, Papa John's, and much, much more. It's the best episode yet. Enjoy. Amen. Batman, what a day to be not dead, man. We're jumping into it again. <laughs> Just like it's a never ending pool. You gotta jump into it every Just other like I day. blink and I'm back in it. I'm back home. What's today? What's today? Monday, dude? Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday dude. baby. Oh, Wednesday, Wednesday episode? A little hump day. A little Wednesday a little episode? Bit, almost through the week. You know, sure, I mean, man. like, if you're listening to this, you probably Seven don't have a job, work. so it doesn't matter to you anyway. But <laughs> for the rest of you out there. Shout out to everybody employed, going to work, listening to Ricker and Bond. Everybody not employed, not going to work, still listening to Ricker and Bond. Really putting in that Ricker and Bond uh, uh, sweat equity, you know, every day, hour a day. Maybe if you, some of these overachievers doing two hours a day. Two episodes a day, one in the morning, one at Damn. night, Ricker and Bond. Uh, day, night time. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. I mean, the, <laughs> you can't expect to succeed then if you're not doing that. I can't. I got so much other stuff that demand my attention. I mean, I, I get it. We all get it. But uh, if you uh, if you really put in that, that Ricker and Bond work, everything will <laughs> propel from there. Oh, my God. Oh get my up God. in the morning, turn <laughs> turn on the early episodes and then you know do what you do for a day and then you get in there you get your nighttime episode that's how you succeed in life that's how that's how i do it so how am i going to slip that in between the gym and fucking whatever else i do in the morning how long you go to the gym for about an hour two hours at least. oh that's two episodes right there i i i got it i got the gym comes first yeah rick and bond in your ear dude Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about listening, bro. Oh, listening. Yeah, listen man. to our podcast. I'm, I'm just telling you what people do. They get up in the morning, they turn on their morning episode, and then they turn on their evening episode towards the evening time, and that's how people. That's how people get ahead in life. I've been doing this thing where I just listen to nothing. A but with your earphones in. Nah, I just don't listen to anything in the car, at the gym. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, dude, too much information. I just need to chill. A lot of information, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true. Like, just like relax, unwind. The gym, besides probably the 
music they have blaring in their own gym is probably like one of the quietest places. <laughs> oh yeah, Pretty the quiet. music they're playing is way worse. But, but is, besides that, it's a kind of quiet atmosphere. Yeah, sometimes like when they're about to close, <laughs> they turn off the fucking music, and I'm just like, why can't they just keep it like this the whole time? It's like a, uh, it's like a like a forest, but with like metal. It's like a metal forest. I fucking God, I wish I could go to the gym right now, but I already went. Ricker and Vaughn. In-depth, free-flowing conversation about whatever is appropriate at the time. I'm Ricker, that's Vaughn. That's me. This is the podcast that we're on. That Every we day, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, when the podcast comes out, everybody comes in live on Instagram. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, at around 5-ish or 11-ish. But, you know, put on those notifications on Instagram. You already know when we're going to pod, dude. You know what it is. Don't forget, today's episode is brought to you by CarPhoneZone.com for all your car and phone accessory needs. Use code PODCAST at checkout for 15% off the entire store. 15% the entire store, dude? The entire store. Store Are you telling me I can just type in a word all because I listen to Ricker and Bond on the daily? That's right. And I get... Make sure it's all caps, Discounts? Oh, (laughs) Yeah, or else you won't get that that discount. Okay. Yeah, that's so, a little bit of a flaw, I think. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Chilling, man. You know what it is. Music money pod. Music money pod. How's the 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 market treating you? Uh, I haven't looked in a while, but you know, kind of down. Pretty down, kind of a little, a little up today near the end, but also very much down. I'm not really swinging anything. I'm not really intraday besides futures, so I don't really care. But we can look at it, dude. You want to look at it? Let's look at it, bro. Uh, I can't. I can't trade anything right now either. Let's I'm time out. Look at it. I was it, greedy. Mm. Nice realization, though. Yeah. So uh, S and P down. I'll learn my lesson one quarter day. Quarter percent. Uh, the Dow Jones down a half percent. Russell up a percent and a half. Uh, that VIX index, dude, it's like a 19, bro. Not that volatile as before, but a little more volatile in the past. Uh, TLT is your iShares 20 year plus treasury bonds, half percent up. Uh, your gold. It's down percent. Your futures are doing what their futures do. Apple down a little bit. Tesla up a little bit. Arcs a little up. Um, Amazon down. Microsoft down. Square up. So what That's what's at. up. Those what you you have all those. I have Apple, Tesla, Arc W, Arc G, and then I'm gonna get into Microsoft or Square. Amazon might be a little pricey for me. Amazon is like Amazon, Google. That's just like a place to park your money for me. Like, I don't think how much higher can it go? Uh, higher. (laughs) It's like, uh, it it will probably indeed go higher over time. That's like that long-term hold. You're not going to see those delicious 50% gains like you will from that delicious tesla or 50% art, don't or 50%, 50% decline. gain from a tesla and you guess unless you get a nice little entry there over some some volatile down swings oh man Tesla's not gonna get you 50 off bat dude especially not anymore wanna, oh you're certainly not gonna get 50 from amazon ever no way it's going to six thousand dollars a share at least not this decade over time yeah <laughs> either this decade or the next Pile up those it. shares, man. I mean, maybe not three thousand worth of shares, a little price. I need some more money. I need this kid to finish my fucking YouTube video so I can get some fucking cash. Bitcoin. This guy was like, "Yo, Bitcoin. this guy from India was like, yo, your videos are almost done, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just color grading them, sir.'" And mm-hmm. I said, "Thank you, sir." And then he said very sternly, "No, I am not, sir. You are, sir." Mm. I, was like, I don't like what? that. I like calling people sir if they call me sir back. I am a big proponent of sir and ma'am and thank you and, and please. 
I was like, yeah, I'm not going to argue with this guy's culture. Love a good sir, dude. Just make my fucking videos, god damn it. <laughs> Big sir fan? You sir people? Do I sir people? Oh, sir, how you doing? Thank you, sir. Depends if they deserve it. I'm a big thank you, sir, kind of guy. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Bitcoin. I saw it get flat 5900, zero, zero, and then just no one in the world wanted to bid more than that. And now it's at 589. Right now. Ether 18. A little green across the cryptos. Damn, to the three people who I told to get into Bitcoin a couple of days ago when it was at 50 and you didn't. Fuck you. I mean, I don't care. But Yeah, that was probably a wonderful time. Everybody's selling off their Bitcoin options, dude. Uh, probably won't Binance be that low again coin. for a while. Freaking Binance coin, dude. Cardano. Cardano up there. Everybody's just a little, little pretty okay over there in crypto land right now. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm making a Bitcoin short film documentary thing. It looks fabulous so far. Making or watching? I didn't hear you. Making. Nice. What's, yeah. the, what's the what's the gist? It's just explaining it, what it is. A little five part series. A little. A little uh, nine part. Nice. But like not, not all about Bitcoin, just about crypto. Like sp explainer videos, kind of. But like now, that's what it started as. But now it's now it's looking a little more like Netflix documentary. Like, I mean, I'm not in it; just my voice. I see. All stock footage. I see. Shout out Cash Gains. Cash Gains is something like that. Kind yeah, of stock footage, and a lot of good due diligence from a some random man that doesn't show his face. Cash Gains Academy, lots of due diligence from a seventeen year old in Nigeria. I that's just cool. read it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. He probably yeah. likes Cardano, dude. Cardano, big big African contingency. I think I I have a Cardano video he wrote me. I'm not sure. Um, I watched that one. Yeah. Fuck. What else going on, dude? What's poppy? What's going down? I uh, had a very good weekend of sales. I am currently at 11 sales in a week and a half. I decided to decrease my ad spend from $50 a day to $20 a day. Threw up some new ads. Um... Kept it. Kept the two winning ones. Uh, this is for cars. Funzone. dot com. By the way, full disclaimer. I made it. Um. And yesterday I got a sale with twenty dollar ad spend, but I kind of feel like it was luck. So I'm waiting to see if I get another one today. Why do you say that? Because I don't think it was from uh. I got two sales yesterday. One was from social media and one was directly from search, which was interesting. And I don't know which one was from search. I don't know if it was the one when I had $20 ad spend or one when I had $50 ad spend. So I'm was just going to leave it on $20 for a couple the days same and see. Ad set? What? It was the same ad set that you decreased? Yeah. I see. What kind of creatives you got? kind of creative what is that the audience the 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 ad uh they're all videos i ripped from youtube chopped them up added some new music classic classic facebooking right there dude just facebooking hard it's by the book dude <laughs> <laughs> it's by the book dude it's how kobe wrote it bro like good artists create great artists steal by or something book, like that dude. by the book <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely like, damn, I'm glad I, like, know how to edit videos, because this would be a pain in the ass if I had to, like, learn this just for this shit. Yeah, it's a nice thing to know already. Yeah. But, I mean, even, even if, like, you've never 
done it before. You go in a high movie, give you a couple days, but yeah, it's probably a little bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, fuck. So just waiting on that, sitting on that. If I can definitely, if I can cut down my cost to twenty dollars a day, I still won't be breaking even with the number of sales I get. I would still need. Let me see, more than two sales per day. And right now I get one to two. I think one day. I think one day I got three. Do you have um? How many at the carts do you got? A shit ton. Make a make a. Let me actually take a look. Make a make a duplicate. Make a custom audience look alike for, and the result would be at the carts, and that narrows down your audience a little bit. If you know all this stuff, why don't you do it? Drop shipping as well. I started. (laughs) Do you have a store? Yeah. What is it? Gardening. Oh, nice. I feel like a lot of people do that, but... Um, hey, I feel more people do fucking car <laughs> shit, probably. <laughs> I, do, I do think so. Uh, uh, what the fuck was I looking for? Uh, add to cart. Oh, add to cart. It's really... It, <laughs> it's funny. It's like... It's really my one skill that I can put on a resume is like pay-per-click stuff. Hey, uh, the main one. People pay a lot for that. Yeah, they do. It's fun, fun, fun. Car phones on, logging in. Pretty slow day, but that's expected. Um, analytics. Add to carts in the last 30 days is 21. Reach checkout is 18. Converted is 11. Give you another week, dude, and then you can, uh, I think I, I just, the number that I think of off top is like 30 for amount of results for something. And then, uh, that's kind of arbitrary though. Uh, and make an, uh, make a look like audience and then it narrows down those people, you know, are you, uh, putting in car interests into audiences? Yeah. Car interest. Also, try uh, um, not solely United States. It might be some trouble with the Ollies, but um, try that as well. I think I might be global because I'm getting traffic from everywhere. Yeah, Ireland, Brazil, Latvia, Bangladesh. What about other English-speaking countries? Uh, this Ireland. They don't even speak English, bro. Do they? What do they speak over there? They no, speak they Spanish, right? <laughs> <laughs> Spanish. Dude, did you see that that one Ricker and Bond mean? They're these, these two siblings who are like Scottish or something? No. Their accents are crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know how like a lot of people are like, yo, the fucking, the colonizers or whatever came and took this land from yeah. the original Mexicans yeah, and I'm thinking like, yeah, sure that was that, that, that was a horrible event in history, but like, you're still like speaking their language. Isn't Spanish from Spain? Yeah, that's but that's still like the European people that settled over here. Like like, native Mexican language is in Spanish. Native Mexican language, like the what the Aztecs and the Incas spoke. Yeah, it wasn't Spanish. It was some some other shit that no one knows, probably right. Yeah, I was like, okay, why don't I just speak that? I don't know. That's that's interesting. I don't know. The world is fucking crazy. I mean, but Spain was the Europeans. Yes, but like my my thing is like, you know how there there there's there's a movement to try to erase everything or erase a lot of things that point to that moment in history like statues you know monuments fucking history books like whatever and then there's this huge thing this huge overlooking cloud which is the language that was brought from the spaniards 
that mm-hmm. is like literally the the root of Mexican culture is the language, and you can't get rid of that. Yeah, but that's like still the birth of uh, the European colonization. Like like a Mexican culture, even though Spanish is ingrained to it, isn't like a native thing. The Spanish language. Yeah. 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 I know. I know why they speak Spanish. But my thing is, why? How? Why isn't anyone pointed this out? Pointed what out again? Sorry. Pointed out like, yo, our language is racist. They quote have, unquote for those who didn't I think, see that I think people have brought that up from circles I've seen who the hell is on Twitch bro the point I'm trying to make is looking for racism and everything is ridiculous you'll find it because you're, but... you're gonna find it <laughs> <laughs> so don't even look for it because you're gonna find it yeah people people uh, discover what they seek you know you discover what you you want to see on Google on Twitter on Facebook What's it's what keeps you fueled? Yeah, seeking you shall receive, bro. That's why you gotta keep a uh, keep a uh, uh, control your sanity. You know, you gotta yes. Maneuver your exterior and make sure your interior is all good with that. Because if you gotta, if you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening to just like you said, all that noise and stuff, then your noise exterior comes your interior noise. I'm very big on that exterior versus interior. Everyone just needs to shut the hell up and read the chapter of Luke. <laughs> the book of Luke, chapter 3, verse 14. All right, let's go. So I, I don't know what that verse is. Don't hold me to that. What did you say? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Luke three fourteen. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. (laughs) Cause a lot don't call them home. So we never sing again. I got Texas on my phone. Gotta never ping again. I screenshot them so I got I don't want this thing that. Yo, shut the fuck up. you already know what it is dude they really they're targeting <laughs> that ad was something i seen on something else recently did you see that new lil nas x video i didn't i heard there was a lot of satan stuff so i didn't on on the tip of keep my mental that's a, not something i want to talk about or not uh in in ingest into my brain because everybody's talking about it after i was done teaching my sunday school course i slid out to my car to watch it but i had to drive three miles down the block so god wouldn't see me and i yeah, watched yeah, yeah. it what was it what's the song called is it a good song I don't know. I actually didn't watch it. All I know is that Satan was sliding his red dick into Lil Nas X's brown asshole. And was there really a, a devil de- sex scene? Yeah. And people oh, was were really? like, yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. That was like the thing that, that was like controversial. And people were like, yo, uh, <laughs> well, didn't you just make a song for kids, dog? <laughs> um, is it Montero? Who? What? It's called Montero. Yeah, and um, what's I don't know who it was some rapper was like, "Yo, you're, you know the whole argument like, fuck, think of the kids." And then he's sure. like, "Yo, I'm not holding back anymore. I'm gay." And everyone was like, "Yo, we're not talking about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're talking about the Satan shit. <laughs> no one gives a fuck if you're gay." I wanted to see the lyrics. I caught it bad just today. You hit me with the call to your place. Ain't been out in a while anyway. Was hoping I could catch you throwing smiles at my face. Romantic talking? You don't even have to try. You're cute enough to fuck with me tonight. Looking at the table, all I see is weed and white. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Talking about that What is butt. weed? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you live in life, but N-word, you ain't living right. Cocaine and drinking with your friends. You live in the dark, boy. I cannot pretend. Or your I'm, enemies. I'm not phased, only here to sin. If Eve ain't in your garden, you know that you can if Eve's not there, then you can sin. You think Billy Ray Cyrus would be proud that his, <laughs> his son Lil Nas X is oh, doing blow? He's like, oh, man. What has Miley taught him? Dude, Call me him when you want. probably get down. Call me when you... they probably probably good friends. I feel like they'd kick it. Probably just do an eight ball a night. <laughs> <laughs> just they is, split is it. Lil Nas X even like 18 yet, dude? How old is he? Let me get this high check going on. How old is... Tall as man's. He's either really tall or really short. Give him a six. Yeah, six one, of course. That's a pretty solid height. <laughs> Dude, have you, have Some you would seen say the, the one, perfect height. The one TikTok guy, it's just a guy in his bed talking into his earphones, and he, he rates white girls usually making iced coffees. Uh-huh. Have you no, seen I, it? No, I have not. Oh, man, that's right up my alley, bro. You it's just great. thought of it. It's just like, <laughs> you know... You know the tone of voice when you're like, uh, um, it's kind of like a somewhat older thing. Like you'd, you'd see it like a dad be like, be like, oh yeah, there, there that is just like in a kind of monotone voice and like very, uh, blatantly explicitly of what something is with yes. like, it's just, this what it is. And you're just talking about it. Uh-huh. And that is, that is what, that is what this man's just saying. Yeah, I kind of want to find a clip cause it's just, it's funny, bro. Uh, but yeah, Lil Nas X, not really into the whole Satan thing. But really uh, into the whole gay thing. <laughs> but. I'm fine with the gay thing, and I seem to be fine with the song as well. I mean, I'm you got your weed, Satan you got your thing, cocaine. Thing. It does say, hold on, it does say. Okay, <laughs> it does say, hold on, uh, A A. I want to sell what you're buying. All right, dude, just in, like, I, I dig I dig what you're doing. I, I want some of it. I want to feel your ass on your ass in Hawaii. Cool, dude. Everybody wants to feel ass in Hawaii. I want that jet lag from fucking and flying. Sure. You, you know, you're traveling, dude, and traveling and having sex. Shoot a child in your mouth while I'm riding, is what this line says. It's pretty, uh, pretty abhorrent. Don't really... Disgusting. Don't really... Don't really, uh, let me do a little, a little, you know, a little more research into this line. See if it's, I feel maybe a misprint. And a pause. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe it. Little Nas X, and this is a day, okay, whatever. Video just doesn't add up. A um, day after I invite him to my church group <laughs> for Sunday Bible study. A what, men's what, church group. What is my grandmother going to think? Yeah. He fucked all my church brothers. <laughs> and like, that's cool. I find like all of them, dude. Yeah. All of them. It's like, it's just, it's just going to make drama, you know, at the next meeting. It's like, you also fuck Lil Nas X? I'm like, yeah. And Even it's just... Mason. And we all knew he was straight. <laughs> Mason. Lil. Never oh, okay. I get, I get it. 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 Shooting a child. Well, it might be twisted as something weirder than it is. It's just, it's just semen, bro. It's just a cum shot. Oh, like get over it, I dude. See. Get over it, dude. Gross. Been there, done that. You know. No, I showed that to my Sunday school group, and it went over their heads. But you know, More like I was like, too. "This shit's banging." What a time in incline. A sign of the times. Every time that I speak, a dime and a nine. It was mine every week. What a time. An incline. God was shining on me. Now I can't leave. Now I'm acting hella elite. Mmm. Can't leave? Indentured to the music industry? It's actually, uh, poetry what he's speaking, by the way. It's a pretty so okay I, song. I would, uh, I would read it with a little more respect. Dude, I was I was reading it like I was Shakespeare. You kidding me? You kidding me right now, dude? TikTok iced coffee review. Let me try to find this, bro. It's just good stuff. 
Uh, let me type in guy. Maybe we have to do white guy. White we guy. have um, a statement from Lil Nas X on Twitter about okay. the controversy. It's really the devil fucking him. Yeah. How does that? How does that portray non explicitly? It's not. It's explicit. It's not. It's pretty explicit. It's like he's. You can see him. a, a devil dick on him. YouTube. Yeah, I don't think you see the dick. Okay. Here's the statement from Nope at Lil Nas X on Twitter. I'll be honest, all this backlash is putting an emotional toll on me. I try to well. come up with humor, <laughs> but it's getting hard. My anxiety is higher than ever. And stream, call me by your name on all platforms now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he did that. Yeah. Yeah, he's the goat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome. But is that is that you think that's true a little bit? I feel like it might be a little true. Probably. Also, he's at least releasing a shoe. Yeah, with I saw like that too. human blood in it or something, and I sure it has him, a though? Nike swoosh on it. I sure it's him. I thought it was like another entity. Oh, I it. don't know. I don't know. I don't want it. That's just what it is. Popular culture. You gonna so, buy it? Yeah. Am I going to buy it? You gonna I'm buy it? Take a picture it. of it and then mint it, bro. Oh, you got a little Nas X, your clown. I can't find this white guy talking about white girls making ice coffees. It's really funny. But David Dobrik's apology did show up. Same thing. <laughs> Three twenty-two twenty-one. David Dobrik. I wonder what he's up to. Just enjoying. He's, I mean, hopefully he's got some, some hedge there in his portfolios. I know he has a lot of female assistants. I bet mm. he's like trying to pay them off to keep the orgies a secret. Mm. <laughs> also, yeah. he hadn't posted in a long time, unless I'm missing something. He was he was on that on Instagram YouTube. TikTok. Okay, okay. Pays more. Oh yeah. Get that TikTok thing going. TikTok, TikTok. Oh yeah. David Dobrik looking like a like a golden retriever. Um any other news, dude? Oh, dude, Arkansas? You, you ever heard of these guys? Arkansas? Yeah. <laughs> Arkansas. Um there was a ACLU, if that's the correct acronym, I might possibly. Um tweet that said they banned healthcare for trans people uh and so i looked it up because obviously it sounds kind of drastic but they did ban uh hormone uh procedures for uh kids under 18 in arkansas i support it why i don't think kids should be given steroids or hormones Sure, sure, sure. That's really it. After 18, do whatever you want, but... Sure, 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 sure. Kind of agree. Kind of not as well. Because honestly, dude, 18-year-olds are stupid. Really? <laughs> I think it should be like 20, but 18 is fine. Yeah, it's kind of the, the minor thing. If I was like... If, if I was 18... Or, I don't know, 17. I was like, Mom, I want to fucking inject estrogen into my veins so I, that I can grow some boobies and get a higher voice and all that stuff. And she said, no, you should wait until your frontal cortex is fucking con connected at least. Sure. So that's like around this age. And I... And I would say, like, honestly, I'd be like, Mom, thank you. Because that would have been fucking stupid. What the fuck was I doing at 18? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what kind of music I listened to back then. So no way I would have been able to make that big a decision for my entire life. You know? Sure. Yeah. But then what if you still had that desire, even if you're over 18? If I still had the desire, I'd do it probably. Like 19? Sure. 
or 18, I'd probably do it. I'd definitely regret it, but, you know, better do it as a 19-year-old than a 17-year-old. That's you, though. Some people generally don't want to be that gender. (laughs) (coughs) Yeah, but most children don't make rational decisions. Sure. Especially for the best interest of their lives, their own lives. Because they're fucking drinking and driving, smoking cigarettes, you know. Valid point, I believe. It's kind of a weird thing. Because if someone does want to do that, and then they still want to do it, and they're, it's not like a, a phase, then you're kind of like, I don't know. I can see the why some people see that as somewhat traumatizing. I've read a couple stories of people that have been like, I'm glad I waited, and they still did it. They're like, I was, I did some more research, figured out what is that exactly going to go on with my body. And now I'm like more knowledgeable. Cause if mm. I had gone through these side effects when I was a kid, I would have like freaked out. Sure. 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 It's a whole lot of hormones, dude. Even without the injections. Oh yeah. Hormones are, hormones are nuts. <laughs> nuts. Um, did you know that we're closer genetically to bonobos and chimps than bonobos and chimps are to gorillas? Oh, yeah, or any other monkey or primate. I like an artist named Bonobo, he has good music. Did you know we're closer to chimps and bonobos than? the African elephant is to the Indian elephant. Oh, yeah. Isn't that fucking weird? It's quite the statistic. It's like really fucking, that's like In terms of what, DNA? Closeness? DNA closeness? Yeah, like when we split in terms of time relativity. What do you mean, what? In terms of time? Yeah, so all the primates have a common ancestor, right? But we all didn't, like, split off at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know how many were on the chart. But let's say, like, there's one common ancestor, and then it split off three times. Two of those, one of those times was a fucking gorilla or whatever, and then another time was a fucking orangutan. And then five million years later, the third one split off into... Bonobos, chimps, and humans. Okay. And that was relatively close to now in terms of like time. Right on, dude. Big fan of monkeys. Haven't seen one in a while. Yeah. But, you know, got some respect for the monkeys. And humans and bonobos are the only animals that are, sorry, mammals that have sex for pleasure. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> you you know like a kid comes up to you and like says a random fact, yeah, and you're like, all right, dude, <laughs> just trying to keep gave, the pod moving. Gave me a flashback of that. That's funny. I dig bananas, dude. Monkeys and me. You know that uh that that movie uh Marley and Me about dogs. Yeah. Monkey and me. It's like Marley and me, but with dogs. And then the monkey dies at the end. Monkey's got to die at the end. In, of AIDS, too. Jesus and it Christ. actually g- gave it to the human. And the sequel... That's yeah, dude, you know, uh, Why? How, is, uh, what's his face? Owen Wilson sleeping with a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dude. gross. You know, because you, you can picture that, too, bro. You can see Owen Wilson's blonde, big nose head ass in, you know in people, a bed with a nice little monkey, dude. I know there's some fucked up sick people probably all right like it's a given that the people that do that in the world but let's just say in the united states there's some fucked up sick people that definitely fuck monkeys for sure probably it's probably some primal thing that they're like yo this is the same creature as me i want to fuck it closer than the indian and african elephant i mean what are we doing here it's pretty nuts it's pretty you know nuts. how uh <laughs> how um the human centipede is like movies within movies. Yeah. It would be, it would be similar with Monkey and Me, as in uh, Owen Wilson would then go on. It's not really a movie in a movie, but Owen Wilson 
now obtaining the AIDS from the monkey, he is the first person human to have AIDS, and he is actually the the cause of AIDS throughout the world. It's called Monkey and Me. It's called HIV and Me. <laughs> it's called uh, Magic Johnson Money. It's called. And, sorry, Mr. Hanks, you have AIDS. Mr. Hanks. Tom. Tom. Hey, before we hop into this third trimester, can I yeah. run this Papa John's, um, this Papa John's commercial idea by you real quick? Not a sponsor. It's a totally redoing of the entire marketing campaign of Papa John's because it's kind of shitty. I'm kind of confused, but I'm, I'm I'm willing to accept the experience. Context is I plan on purchasing Papa John's and just redoing the entire marketing thing because, you know, the sales are trash. All right, so here we go. Um, so imagine there's a family sitting in a living room, no, a dining room, and they're about to dig into a dinner, a beautiful dinner, all the trimmings, everything. It's just ready to go, hot and steamy, wife, husband, two kids, ready to eat. All of a sudden, a guy bursts in the door, Cool. and he looks like, a sweaty racist. Who else did I explain this to? He looks like um he looks like uh just like a fucking frat guy that's like a little too old to be a frat guy. Fucking he's obviously the dad's like drinking buddy from the bar or from college or whatever and Miles. he's holding a Papa a pipe and hot Papa John's pizza. Okay. And he bursts in the door and he's like, "Yo, and he looks at the wife and he's like, oh, hi, Sharon. Is this a bad time? And then Sharon's like, actually, Gerald, yes, it is. We're about to eat dinner. <laughs> and <laughs> then the guy's like, I'll just go wait in the, the living room, I guess. He goes in there. And then the wife looks at the husband angrily. And then the husband gets up, gets up and the wife's like, Dan, or whatever his name is. And Gerald. he's like, babe, he, what, babe? He brought Papa John's. And mm. that's the commercial. Who's the market? The market is, I want it dudes. to be like the pizza you get when you're high. Okay. You know how, who who took that angle? Taco Bell or someone took that angle? Taco Bell has a bit of a Jack in the box. stoner. Jack in the box? Jack in the box took the stoner angle a little bit with the munchy meal and all that. Yeah. I want to, I want to be that. We got to cut those, get those prices down and... Are you the the reason down? I, I want to buy Papa John's is because I was eating it and I noticed. Because Shaq owns it? Diz, Dizzy? Part of it. Oh. Uh, he, I noticed that they include three sauces, garlic, honey mustard, and ranch. No one ever, no one needs it. Everyone, everywhere else, you got to pay <laughs> 75 cents for those sauces. How much is the pizza? The pizza was fucking expensive, but I had a $5 coupon, so it was reasonable. But I was like, yo, if this was the regular price and they threw in that sauce, this would be fire. But, I mean, but, doesn't it seem like the sauce is priced into the expensive price for the pizza? I think, yeah, that, and I guess the, the, the um, ingredients are more expensive too or something. But mm. I was like, damn, dude, if they can just like, I don't know figure it out figure out a way to get that price down somehow study those financials dude what do you got on papa john's what's their pe what's their expenses bro i don't their know the market cap is like 2.3 and the owner sh sold off most of his stakes so he only owns two percent they public yes third trimester you want it dude let's do it guessing game was a 
previously popular artist, kind of a one hit wonder. Uh, let's just start there. See college the college age area. College age area. Yeah. Long locks. Long locks. Oh, I fucking know who it is. <laughs> it's Dram. It is. <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah, I saw his picture. But he's now going as Shelly, formerly known as FKA Dram. Dram. Changing Rock. your name is the worst thing you could ever do. I mean, Especially after you already had a little bit of fame. Sure. But I mean, you only know Drum from Broccoli, you know? I've heard him around. Like, I don't know <laughs> any of his songs. I've seen his name. Yeah, yeah. What was he using a song with fucking... Didn't he just do a song with her or something? I don't know. I think the sound of it. He has a familiar face. I saw him and I was like, I know this guy from somewhere. You know, I remember he performed at U of A and no one went. I was, was going to say. It was fun. I was there. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't was, that fun. It was not that fun, actually. In fact, I Those wish I had Those things are never gone. fun, though. Everyone goes to, like, a concert and you're, like, a freshman. But, like, you don't know what to do as a freshman in college. So you're like, I guess I'll go to this thing. Dude. That wasn't freshman year, was it? It was like, nah, it was junior year. I remember thinking, wow, I really took out a loan to pay this school so they could pay, pay Dram to come perform. <laughs> For real, bro. Uh, Should have gone to EYL. Should have gone to Butthole University. Butthole University has horrible acceptance rates. It's hard to get in there. It's really, it's really tight University process. It's highly accredited. There's a, there's really a lot more butt jokes to be made, but maybe a huge endowment. That would have been a better penis joke, but endowment does bring up a lot of penis um, thoughts. It's a different word I'm thinking of, but um, new Rick and Morty season. You hear about this? You know about this? I saw the trailer. Of course, it revealed nothing about the season. Who do you want to know I've... things about the season, bro? Well, what? Why else would you announce a trailer? So you know, there's new episodes. Just say new episodes coming. But then you gotta like these are the fun things that happen. This is a funny little quip that a don't call it a said. trailer. Call it a sneak peek. I don't. Is are you talking about the Instagram post? <laughs> I saw something on YouTube. Ah, I see. I see. I can't I wait for them to drop four episodes and then swing back in 2030. <laughs> The With Instagram post caption was, now you guys can start asking about season six. And I thought that was humorous because it's season five. And they're like, oh, when's the next season coming? Be like, let's going to get out when it's out, dude. Rick and Morty, bro. We're too busy having all of our animators work on Solar Opposites. You know, a show that no one wants to see. <laughs> dude, I, have, I think I have like a few seasons of Rick and Morty that I haven't seen that I'll probably enjoy in the future damn you're just missing out oh man it's gonna be it's gonna be a good binge in like 2034 what if you die tomorrow and you never get to experience that hey man that's that's the risk i take that's the risk i take i I don't think uh uh, ascending souls will be like damn fucking rick and morty dude you didn't watch it (laughs) you didn't see that episode bro well we don't got netflix over here the hell man like i Sorry, I guess. I didn't know that was a big thing with the afterlife crowd. Guys are big into Rick and Morty, like the animation style, a little bit sarcastic humor style. I get it. Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. It's he huge here. We don't play around with <laughs> that shit. It's huge <laughs> we, we actually have our whole culture surrounded by the, the motifs and themes of Rick and Morty. I don't know what you thought this was, but it's not sweet. It's Rick and Morty based. Yeah, we really don't joke about that stuff. Rick, here. dude. Rick, hilarious. He battles Morty. with his inner demons, but in a humorous way. Come on. And he's an alcoholic. We don't get alcohol in heaven, so. He's an alien. Oh, he's human, right? Yeah, he's human. I think. Who knows? Mm, he might not be, bro. Might he not better be. be a human. That would be such that a That would be kind of lame if he was an alien. That's some Phineas and Ferb shit, dude. <laughs> what happened with Phineas and Ferb? <laughs> Where are they fucking. You know how the. Uh, 
the platypus was like a secret agent. Yeah, was it their like imagination? It was. It might as well have been. They fucking find out he's a secret agent, and then he erases their memory. I'm just like, what the fuck is the? Uh, that is some bullshit. That was a classic. That age, whatever that age was, high school, middle school. Do that intro, classic nostalgia, dude. You seen the calendar flipping and whatnot? Yeah, that was great the first time I saw it, and then I was like, oh, this is <laughs> it, it gets a little repetitive, but you're like, all right, dude, this is what it is, dude. It's in my head, and I'm ready. Bring you some somebody, fur. I heard somebody play that on the guitar a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to put a bullet that in my head. It's something. I don't. I can't recall the the tune. It was pretty but annoying because the guy was like it, 25. Because what? <laughs> the guy singing it was like 25. Well, I mean, that's the age. I mean, that's... That I don't like his voice was perfect for it because the singer was like, what? Wasn't it like some bowling for soup or some shit like that? Uh, but just watching shit. it, I was just like, oh, God, dude. I, gotta get out I don't of here. recall. Got to get out of Disney recall, Channel man. Studios. Disney. Speaking of Disney, Disney made their... Uh, what is it called? Adult mm. animation studio animation? conglomerate thing. So now it's, it's just called, animation. Uh, I think for now it might be. Hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's called Twentieth Tele Twenty First Television or something like that. And it has Family Guy, The Simpsons, American Dad, Solar oh. Opposites, basically everything Disney owns right now. And word on the street is they're gonna launch an adult animation or an adult show streaming service called star yeah coming soon just in case you were running out of streaming options sometimes too much choice isn't good it's a lot of it you ever on netflix and you're just like you know what fuck it i won't watch anything because <laughs> i can't decide no i don't know peruse netflix in a while what's your go-to how come they don't have that? a shuffle button yet is my question. Maybe they want you to just scroll it, you know? That'd be pretty let's, cool. Let's get on it. Disney stars. It's hard to find. I remember Reed. That reading that kind of the longest time ago, but there we go. Tech Radar. Star is a content hub within the Disney Plus streaming service for television and film content intended for a mature audience. Which sounds pornish, but it's not. Okay? It's not Ask porn. your parents if Star is right for you. It's not porn, okay? I know it's called Star and Hot Star, but, you know, it's not porn, okay? Relax. Parent organization Disney Media and Entertainment Distribution. The hub is available in a subset of countries where Disney Plus is operated. It's stylized as the A is a, is a star. So it's S and then T and then a star and then R, you know. Content uh, from NBC Signature, 20th star. Television FX Freeform, 20th Century Studios, Searchlight, Touchstone, Hollywood Pictures, and Caravan Pictures itself. 20th Television is something I've never heard of before. 1994 to 2020. Is it dead now? Now, Star. Original programming on Star, you ask? Big Sky, dude. You excited for it? I'm pumped. It's a thriller. 42 to 44 minute runtime. One season, 16 episodes. Next one, dude. Crime drama. Original network. Epics. Title. Godfather of Harlem. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, dude. He makes it so excited, it makes you want to yawn, dude. The House of Mouse is just spoiling us with content. Filthy Rich Soap Opera Comedies, High Fidelity, Love Victor, Adult Animation, Solar Opposites. Everybody is gonna love it, dude. Upcoming programming, Feyenoord, Nomin Land, Nomad Land, Black Narcissus. The booty hole show. Black Narcissus is a British drama serial based on the 1939 novel of the same name by Rumor Godden. The series features one of the final performances, Diana Rigg. Everybody loves her. The Diana Rigg died in September 2020. You know, gone too soon. How old was she, you, you ask? I mean, she was, she was 82, but gone too soon, you know? Goddamn, Diana Rigg. What's going on, dude? 
<laughs> <laughs> Diana Rick, dude. Just like classic. Ow. Um, Fuck. Star. Why are you going to Disney, bro? Oh, God. Whole lot of things to click on if you're buying Disney+. Plus. Introduced February 23rd, 2021. 33 days ago. If you're listening on March 30th, 2021. I wonder if Wikipedia has that has a script there that automates that automatically, but not sure. Are you going to peruse Star in their, their upcoming series? Probably not. Mm. You have a Disney Plus subscription? No, I don't. Are you thinking about it now that they have Big Sky? I actually don't watch TV ever anymore. Well, this so, is this is Disney Plus. So it's sometimes different. I put on bird videos for my cat to watch, and I indulge in that with her. But that's other cool. than that, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's the only way to get her to leave about, me alone Papa nowadays. Papa John's, dude. Papa John's. P-Z-Z-A. I will be subscribing to Papa John's Plus for sure. They have all my favorite football games. <laughs> Holy so, shit. <laughs> We're going to do that now that I own Papa John's. The NFL has been going crazy with deals and and money and a lot of TV streaming. Why is my internet not going, bro? <laughs> um, why why better, Papa John's over Domino's, dude? Uh, mostly because better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> and secondly, because... I don't know if that's a good thesis there, my guy. <laughs> and secondly, because my name is also John. Okay. And I am the papa. So let's get real. <laughs> okay. And third, I just want to make a boring company cool. Sure. Domino's, DPZ. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. And also, Domino's is way too expensive. But that Domino's chart, though, dude, is beautiful. You think I could afford that fucking company? It's like a $13 billion company. Just based on market cap, dude. And you know that changes every day, dude. It depends on the price. Look at this nice little Domino's, dude. All Domino's going all the way back to who knows, 2005-ish, dude. Just a steady climb up, man. I'm there. It's a nice little pullback, dude. Speaking and of pullback. Here's your Papa John's. Global star fucking my ass every day of the week. You got time, man. I got but two years. Eventually, there might be a little little bit of a bull, and then something might happen. You know, fingers crossed. <laughs> Half the people on Reddit are like, yo, this shit's going to 30 cents. <laughs> Just jump off now. I mean, might as well. You might as well not. By might as well, I mean, might as well not touch it for the next two years. Yeah, I'd rather lose two grand than... God. Whatever else I could get. How dare you? How dare you think about letting go Global Star? Yeah, bro. With the financials they have, bro. Come on. What am I? Yeah, all that fucking missing money. <laughs> With their fundamentals? It's a, it's a, I mean, come on. Oh, the CEO spent $50, $50,000 on hoes hose and hookers. Did he? No. Dude, this fucking sharp. This is your precious Global Star, dude. Holy shit. I know. When I saw how it was like, what, it's $60 a share? What is that? No, 20? That was fucking In nuts. 2007, 2007 $17. Yeah. <laughs> and then just a close, just, you know, the, as you do. We're never just, going back up there again. I mean, where'd you get in, bro? Probably like at 90 cents or something. December. December. But I only got options right now. December, eh? Global star, dude. I mean, get back to four. Holding on to these dirty, dirty options. It might it might take you. Okay, so thirteen, right? Thirty nine cents. Global star. In in 2013 pretty similar to where it was in your friend december 2020 you go you go forward a year bro there it is bro it's it's a that's that's about a four four dollar goes up dude you know 
a if you're year. looking at the history, man. I if would you're be looking rich at the now. History, well, if you want to get rich now, go suck a dick in an alley, eh? Um, I not, want to be rich now. Well, yeah, it's gonna take forever. Would like some perpetuity to be rich in my name. Oh, <sighs> it's not out of the ordinary, though. I mean, yeah, you never know. It could like. Be like, hey, today's the day. I'm just going to go to $7 in one day. The history says it, man. It was at rock bottom. A year later, went to 14. So, you know, you're at rock bottom. A year later. Best believe two. if I wake up and it's at 7, I'm out. <laughs> Are you chilling at 2? Nah, it needs to get to like... That's my break even. My break even is like $2.60 or something. So I'm way out there. See this? You see the, see that little resi right there, bro? It's not impossible. No, anything can happen. Anything can happen. I got a feeling. I got a feeling it's gonna be a hot summer. Okay. I got a feeling I'm gonna have all the capital to just burn on my stupid little, stupid little stores. All time <laughs> best. On my stupid little YouTube channels. Don't forget your rock. On my Roth. For the love of any children you might have. Or just your future self. Yes. Be good to your future self by not doing the worst things ever. Well, 50 bucks here and there. So you're saying no more alleyway blow. I, I would I would cut that out. You know? Fuck. Okay. It doesn't really make you a lot. Unless you're slinging it. If you're doing a little... Back backdoor entrepreneurship, then hey. No, I spend two hundred dollars a day on it. Two hundred dollars a day, Bon Jen. Do you want to end the podcast? Yeah, everybody, go listen to the new Lil Nas tape because <laughs> why the hell not? Go to carphonezone dot com because you know your car sucks. So step up that shit what's and your, subscribe. Uh, what's your margins there, dude? My margins are what are they doing? my markup. I mean, yeah, just both of those questions. If I were to sell a seven dollar product, I would. I'm sorry. If I were to buy sell a seven dollar product, I would buy it for about seven dollars. Sorry, fifteen dollar product, seven dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm Fair all enough. over the place. So that sounds about right. Keep in mind, though. I could make more, but I bear the cost of the shipping. Okay. Because I'm trying to acquire customers. Might not do that forever, though, because I want to make some money. Shipping is a pretty big part of the money. Yeah. It'd be. Can you test if uh, different products have no shipping? Some do. They all have shipping. See if you can test if... Some has shipping, some doesn't. See if it really is is that much of a... Oh, on my store? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. See if it really is a catalyst. Well, thought. Thanks for listening, everybody. Rick and Bond, be, uh, try to get a little 1% better than you were yesterday. That's what my dead grandpa says. He's That's never right. said that. But I say it, dude. I'm, I'll be someone's dead grandpa if I have kids. I was about to say, damn, my eyes are beautiful, but it's the filter. It's the filter, bro. You see that, that that meme where that white lady went up to an old uh, her old white uh, neighbor with dementia, and he's like, "Yo, what's up, dude?" And his name's Gene McGee. Yeah, sounds dude, like he has some bad genes. Gene McGee. He says, <laughs> "He says, you know who I am?" And he says, she says, "Yeah," and he says, "Gene McGee, little old dementia ass." Then she stole his wallet. <laughs> you got to mention your family at all? A little, sure little brain deterioration. Same. Yeah, grandma died of it. Do you die of dementia? I guess yeah. That is your brain dying. But is it you, what do you get to dementia? a point where you like you just can't do anything? Is, See, okay. is dementia and Alzheimer's <laughs> the same thing? Is, is it a what a subset? Dementia and Alzheimer's. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I think dementia might be a literal deterioration of your brain. That seems like it could kill you. 
You know, I always thought they were kind of the same thing, but I don't, I don't know. I think they're quite different. And I, in in my bias right now, you don't they're like you don't die from Alzheimer's. Sometimes when I get really high, I forget really like easy things. I'm like, fuck, this is it. This is starting. Yeah. But then I'm like, wait, I'm high. I don't usually forget things when I'm not high. That's cool. Six plus six. Fuck. (laughs) Rick Kernbaugh, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, y'all. Bye.